To consider if healthcare expenditures are sustainable, one factor to study is the rate of increase in healthcare spending in relation to the rise in economic growth measured by the GDP, the gross domestic product. If the annual increase in healthcare expenditures continuously outpaces the annual increase in economic growth, the percentage of economic resources that go to healthcare will continue to increase. This is the situation we find ourselves in across the world. And so if we look at this graph here, published in 2015 by OECD, we see how the healthcare spending has outpaced economic growth. Apologies, it's very low resolution. It's the only version of this graph I can find. Along the x-axis, we see 34 well-developed countries. And on the y-axis, we see a bar above each country that indicates the average GDP growth rate per capita, and that's averaged between 1990 and 2012. We then see a red diamond, which is plotted on the y-axis above each country, indicating the average growth rate in healthcare spending per capita from 1990 to 2012. And so that red dot, which is representing the average growth rate per capita in healthcare spending, is consistently 1 to 3.5% higher than the average GDP growth rate per capita. In short, the average rate of healthcare expenditures continues to rise faster than the growth of the GDP. And so if we look at a more recent report published in 2019, also by OECD, we can predict how healthcare expenditures will grow between 2015 and 2030. And in this report, what they modeled was an estimate that the current OECD average percentage of healthcare spending as a part of GDP, which was about 8.8% in 2015, that over the next 15 years, so by 2030, it would reach 10.2%, or an increase of somewhere between 0.8% and 2% over the next 15 years, depending on the economic model that they used, whether there's more or less economic productivity or more or less healthcare cost controls. I think what's most interesting is if we look at how they modeled Canada relative to all the other countries. And so if we look here, we can see that in 2015, Canada spent around 10.4% of our GDP on healthcare. Don't forget, this is above the OECD average by 1.4% because the OECD average is 8.8% in 2015. And they estimate that in 2030, Canada will be spending somewhere between 12.5% and 13.9% of GDP on healthcare. So this is an increase of somewhere between 2.1 and 3.5% over a 15-year time span. Now, it's always bad in economics just to extrapolate something over a very long time horizon. But if we took a number of, let's say, 3%, increase in healthcare expenditures as a percentage of GDP over a 15-year time, and e extrapolated that to the year 2060. So we went through another two more cycles in addition to this graph presented here. We would find ourselves in a scenario where Canada was spending 20% of GDP on healthcare. And to spend 20% on GDP of GDP on healthcare seems shockingly high in today's context. The last graph to look at is this chart here compiled in 2011 uh, by McKinsey. And what they have tried to do is demonstrate the increase in healthcare spending in relation to GDP after it's adjusted for inflation and population growth. And this was in the United States. So we see along the x-axis that from 1960 to 2010, the years are plotted. Then up the y-axis, we see the cumulative real per capita growth in both national health expenditures and GDP. The blue line at the bottom of the graph 
represents the growth during these 50 years in the GDP, and it's grown approximately 168% per capita after adjusting for population changes and inflation. Health expenditures during this exact same period of time have gone up 818% per capita after the adjustments. And so we see that the gap between the GDP growth per capita and the national health care expenditures per capita in the United States has risen currently to a five times different. And so it's just another way to look at the rate of expenditure uh, relative to population growth and economic growth. The conclusion, I think, to take away from all this is that there's, of course, always a debate around what is the optimal percentage of GDP that countries should spend on healthcare. And this presentation doesn't look at that question whatsoever. But the graphs above do demonstrate that regardless of how much a country spends today, we will continue spending on healthcare faster than the GDP or our economies are growing. And if we continue this increase of spending for years to come, as it is predicted, we'll eventually get to the point when healthcare becomes unsustainable. And this would suggest that we need eventually better models of healthcare that can improve health and reduce the burden and expense of disease.